Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is classification two. Uh, today we would like us to discuss the second class in the kingdom plantae and this is uh, no, the se sorry. I would like us to discuss the second division in uh, Kingdom Plantae, and this is Division Pteridophyta. Division uh, Pteridophyta. Uh, we have previously discussed Division Bryophyta which we saw is the least advanced uh, division within the kingdom plantae. So division pteridophyta is the second uh, least advanced. And here we have uh, examples such as the ferns and we have the horsetails. Those are the common examples of division pteridophyta. And uh, we are going to discuss the characteristics. Uh, among the characteristics uh, of uh, division pteridophyta is that uh, they have compound leaves. And they have compound leaves that are divided into leaflets called pinna. Uh, leaf, uh, they have compound leaves and uh, those compound leaves are divided into leaflets and those leaflets are referred to as pinna in singular is called pineal. One leaflet is called a pineal. Now, the second uh, characteristic is an extension of the first one is that on the underside of the pinna, which are the leaflets, are the spore bearing structures are the spore bearing structures that we refer to as the sporangia. Sporangia, that is the plural, the singular is sporangium. Sporangium bears the spores. So on the lower side uh, of the leaflets or of the pinna, uh, you'll observe some clustered, some clustered uh, groupings of sporangia. So you can say that uh, on the underside, the lower side of the pinna are spore bearing structures and the spore bearing structures called sporangia Sporangium is singular. Sporangium is singular. Spore bearing structures that exist in groups that are clustered. Into groups called Sorai, and the singular is Soras. So there's something that I would like to explain further there, that uh, on the underside, that is the lower side of the leaflets, we have spore-bearing structures, and those spore-bearing structures are the ones we are referring to as the sporangia. Sporangium is the singular when it is one, it's a sporangium. 
those sporangia exist in groups they don't exist in uh, uh, in uh, in isolation they exist clustered into groups and those groups are referred to as the sori the sori is the plural uh, soras is the singular each group so we have several uh, sori on the underside of the the leaflet and we are going to illustrate that So on the lower side of each of these, uh, so this is a compound leaf, a compound leaf of a fan. Of a fan plant. So on the lower side, the underside, there are some clustered sections. So those clustered sporangia, they are the ones we are referring to as the sori. When it is one, it's called the soras. Sori, soras is the singular. And then we have the leaf stalk. We refer to it as the Rakis. The rakis is the stalk. Then we have uh, these are the leaflets and that we are referring to as the pina. The pina are the leaflets. So basically, that is uh, uh, the explanation that uh, the fan or the members of the division Pteridophyta, they have compound leaves that are divided into leaflets, and those leaflets are referred to as the pinna. You can see from the diagram, on the underside of the pinna are the clustered groups of sori, or the sori, singular soras. The next characteristic is that... Uh, the dominant form of the plant, before we go to the dominant form of the plant, we can also say that uh, the pteridophyta show alternation of generations. They show alternation of generations whereby the sporophyte is the dominant is the dominant plant the sporophyte is the dominant plant gametophyte exists only exists in the early stages in the early stages then disappears then disappears so there is alternation of generations where the sporophyte or the spore bearing structure or the spore bearing form is the main part of uh, the plant uh, the other thing is that uh, the Pteridophyta, they have rhizoids for anchorage and absorption of water. They have rhizoids for anchorage and absorption of water. can have a diagram showing the
so all these leaves are compound leaves so they should be split as we have illustrated in the previous diagram so we have the leaf itself the leaf itself is referred to as a frond the frond is the leaf of a pteridophyta the compound leaf Then we have uh, the stem-like structure, which we referred to as the rakis. We have the root-like structures here. You can refer to them as adventitious roots. Adventitious roots. For anchorage and the absorption of water, then we have the rhizome. So this is uh, the structure of the fan plant. We have already seen the underside of the leaves, which have the sori and the, the pinna. So this is just one leaf that is removed from here. So we, can, we don't repeat ourselves, but the inner details about the leaf have already been shown in that particular uh, diagram. So we have the rhizoids for anchorage and the absorption of water, and these are the advent adventitious roots. And then number five is that uh, the division pteridophyta have a vascular system. Have a vascular system consisting of xylem and phloem. So that is something that is not found in the, uh, the previous division, bryophyta. But here we have a vascular system consisting of the xylem and uh, the phloem. And basically we have that so the mode of reproduction is also both sexual and asexual as we have seen earlier so the assignment the first question what is the function of sori number b frond in division pteridophyta and number two explain why ferns can exist in less humid areas so we're going to stop there until next time goodbye <music>